In Creo Parametric 9.0, you can now export your mass properties report in CSV and XML file formats so you can process that report in other applications like Microsoft Excel. Let's take a look at how to do that, but first I'm going to show you where the command is not. Here I am in my assembly model. Let's go to the analysis tab and then we have our mass properties command. Then I can click on the preview button and then it calculates it and it shows the information in this little window. There is an information button that you can use to display it in its own separate window. If you go to the file menu here and then save as, this is not going to have the command. So for example, here we can specify the file name. This will be the traditional text file format that ends in .dat. If you want to get to the new file formats, you're going to have to do that from your model properties dialog box. And the way that you get to that is from file and then you go to prepare. Here we have model properties. I use this command all the time. That's why I have it in my quick access toolbar to get to it quickly and easily. The fourth line in here is mass properties. If you click on the change button, it will open up a mass properties dialog box that is slightly different than the one that we had before. But down here we have a save drop down. And if you choose save as, this opens up a dialog box and you've got three different types available in here. The default file name is the name of the assembly underscore A-M-P-P-A-R. I assume that stands for assembly mass properties parameters or something like that. But anyhow, let's take a look at the three different file formats. Let's save it in the traditional text file format and then go to save as. And this time I'm going to save it in CSV and then click the OK button. And let's do it one third time. Save as, and this time I will change it to the XML file format and click OK. So now I've exported it in all three file formats. Let's close out of our mass properties dialog box and our model properties dialog box. Now let's switch over to Windows Explorer. And so here I am looking at the folder where I saved the different files. Here is the text file. We can right mouse click on it and hold and then choose to edit it with notepad. And when I click on that, it brings it up in here. Let me click no, I'm not going to update my notepad. And you can see this is what the traditional text file format looks like. Let's go back to Windows Explorer and here we have the xml file let's right click on that one and edit it with notepad plus plus and here you can see the xml file formatting so that you could write other programs that could process these xml files and now i'm going to jump over to excel to import the csv file in there okay here i am in microsoft excel let's go to the data tab and then I'm going to choose from text and let's grab the CSV file that we want to import. And then in the dialog box, I'm going to change the option to delimited in the text import wizard. Let's also check the box for my data has headers. Then I'll click next for the delimiter. Let's also use a comma and then click on the next button. I'm not going to bother changing the data format for the various different columns let's click finish and let's put it into the upper left hand cell and then click the ok button that's good i'm going to just delete what's in the first cell let's change the column width to make it a little narrower 24 should be good and so now you can see in our csv file that we've imported we've got the various different columns for all the different parameters that are generated as part of mass properties so you can see we've got all our stuff regarding inertia and principal moments and i know i'm scrolling way too fast in here let's just go to the left of course you have your mass your volume and your center of gravity so again you have all of your information available to you that you can use in other different programs